Okay, it's mailbag time. <laughs> Let's see what we've got here. Ah, cool. So this is internal resistance tester. <laughs> So I ordered this off AliExpress, it's the Fenersi. I think that's how you pronounce it, Fenersi? <laughs> yeah. Let's check it out. Oh. So what have we got? Cool, instructions. Probably should read the instructions. Here it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice one. So, there's power it on. Nice, it's got power. Probably go English. There we go. <laughs> so up until now, I've been relying on battery charges to figure out the internal resistance of different cells, like the like 18650s and whatnot. Let's put that to the side. Cool. So here are a bunch of cells. So here's the charger, <laughs> an XTAR VC8S. Yep, plug it in. Cool. Can grab some cells. Let's take. Uh, what should we use? I guess anyone's fine. <laughs> oh, there we go. So 53 milliohms is what that's detecting. So let's see if this is idiot proof. <laughs> detecting what seven? Is that? All right, 3.56 volts and 7.19 milliohms. Hmm, that's a massive difference. Let's, let's try again. 28. Let's try this one. Guessing I need to keep these separate for some kind of four wire sense thing. Uh, so, yeah, 3.63 volts, 11 milliohm. And what have we got here? Three point six three and fifty six. Okay, that's a bit. That's like kind of way way out. What else can we compare it to? <laughs> so I don't have any other internal resistance testers to compare to. So I'm just using these charges. Can we even see the IR on this one? I don't think so. Oh, maybe we can. Let's check it out. So it's the XTAR VX4. Let's check it out. Do we have IR? No, we do not. Hmm. Oh. Guess I'll leave it at that for now.
What else have we got? Something from evebattery.com. I didn't order anything from these guys. Let's see what it is. Okay, this is the Vapsol SU2 charger. Heaps of padding. <laughs> so it's a 5 amp charger, takes 12 volt, 2.5 amp input. got an Australian plug. Is it Australian? <laughs> Let's double check. Ah. What have we got? Uh, it doesn't have the insulation on the tip, so I won't use that. Uh, cool. <laughs> I've got another one though, so let's check this out. Here's a 12 volt, five amp input. I think it's like 5.5 by 2.1 millimeters. Let's change to pro mode. So this is like 11 milliohms on the Finersi. What's this one? 19 milliohms. What about this other one? What is that detecting? 20. Milliohms. Actually, no, this one was 11, the other one was 7, which is pretty low. And this one's 26. It's like 25. So 25. Okay. There we go. It's about 10.7, 11. What's this other one? Seven, <laughs> about seven, okay. So that one's supposed to be about seven. 17. What about this one? Uh, what is it doing? Let's take that out. It's confusing it. Eighteen. Cool. So I, the charges are a bit 18, 20. This was 25 before, 26. Now it's 27. Cool. Not sure what to say there. <laughs> These are a little bit over the place. Although, yeah, the Finesse HRM10 is reading like, what, 7 and 11 milliohms and the Vapsol S2U2 is a little bit higher at like 19 to 25. So this is a 5 amp charger, can plump this in. I'm actually writing up a review on budgetlightforum.com for this one. Uh, the first one, the display had an issue with the, with the backlight and they've sent me a replacement. So yeah, I'll go and finish the testing. I've done most of the testing. The only thing I wanted to go through is make a graph of the current. So when it's in... Da -da -da. So it's in pro mode. It's in auto. Let's change it to manual mode so I can change the current from like 50, 100, 150, 250, 500, 750, 1, 1. 1.5 amp, 2 amps, 2.5, 3, 4 amps, and 5 amps. So what I'd like to do is go through each of those stages in like a 30 second increment and just plot that on a graph and see where it actually lies. So see if it actually hits off 50 milliamps, 100 and what, 150 is it? 100, 150, 250, and so on. I just want to see how, how accurate it is when it tries to 
set the upper limit. So yeah, thanks for joining my first mailbag if you've made it this far. <laughs>